Hi, dead fish. Lovely dead fish down here. Hey guys, it's Damien from MD Gear. I'm gonna hunt along the beach a little bit here, if you call it a beach. Um, a couple of little beaches we have in my little town. You can see all the erosion from the storm. It's got a bunch of rain, had a bunch of flooding, and it pretty much tore up the beach. Pretty nasty down there, but I thought I'd go down for a little bit. Do a little bit of this beach, a little bit of the other beach. There's quite a lot of people that come like July 4th weekend had quite a lot of people down here on these two beaches so man they are torn up I don't know why I brought both my shovel and my scoop I'm not sure why I brought those two but anyway that's pretty much messed up on the edge but maybe we'll try it Yep. Piece of a can. So yeah, we had a storm <laughs> and the town flooded. We didn't really get any flood ourselves, but a lot of a lot of homes had flooding in their basement. Yep, see the cans? There's a set of mason jar. No, it's plastic, I think. Can, 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 can. People come down here to this beach and just chuck their aluminum cans everywhere. Typically what I find down here is cans and maybe a little bit of clad. Nobody's dropping diamond, diamond rings down here. Neat the way the creeks kind of empty out. You see down there is the waterfall. There's several creeks that just come down and empty out right in off these cliffs. Oh, I should have worn knee pads. Knees right down under the rocks. Doesn't feel very good. that tiny piece of little thin metal Deus picks up crazy let's go a little 45 signal what is that oh it looks like silver I assume it's got to be you guys see that <coughs> I assume it's a piece of a can been super warm in the ocean. A very deep 90 down there. Feels a little big. Huh. Boo. Piece of scrap. So they make this uh, shovel in a uh, in a ball handle version. See that? So instead of this T, it comes in a little ball. And I can't imagine why you'd want that because you'd have to sort of hold it like this or grip it by the ball, and it sits on your belt too. You can get one of those little uh, Buzz Wilson, I think, makes them. That's something right there. I have a long handled sand scoop too, I just didn't bring it. Not sure why I didn't. Again, another little flat, well worn piece of metal. A little scrap of aluminum just. Polished well by the surf. Ooh, nice dead fish. All right, dead fish. Ooh. 
lovely dead fish down here. Getting an 82 here. And five. It's another piece of worn metal. Nope, it's a coin. Memorial Penny. Sounding 85 on the dais in wet beach mode. It's uh, weird. It's a bit of a bit of metal that I've scrapped that I've been finding. It almost looks like there's a couple of uh, I don't know earrings attached to it. Weird. You guys see that? I don't know if they're earrings or not, but it sort of looks like earrings. Sort of attached to the metal there, the scrap metal. I guess who knows what that is. I doubt it's gold or anything like that. It looks kind of bronzy. It's a little copperish actually. Hey guys, this is Damien for MD Gear. And I'm really excited today because I've gotten the mail today from Buzz Wilson, a Buzz Bomb 2 uh, sheath for your Lesh and for your uh, pinpointer, Garrett pinpointer. I'm gonna be giving this away in a contest. So I just wanted to do a quick review of it. This is made to go on your belt. It's all made of high quality leather and it's riveted really nicely to stay together for years. In case you ever have to get in there and clean some dirt out of it, you can untie this little leather tie here and open up at the bottom and clean up in there. And so it's meant for your lash, which I have right here. And I'm gonna probably try to insert this carefully so I don't wanna mark it up too bad because I wanna give it away to you guys. So your lash goes right in there and then your Garrett pinpointer goes right in the side here like this. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? So then you put this on your belt down here and you're good to go with your Lesh and you're good to go with your Garrett Pinpointer. Buzz makes a right-handed and a left-handed version of this. Basically, the Pinpointer is then angled the other direction so you can put it on your left side. You know, if you're right-handed, you grab it from this side. If you're left-handed, he turns it so you can grab it from the other side. So when you order one of these, make sure you let them know that um, you're right-handed or left-handed. Uh, Buzz doesn't have a website yet. Right now you can get these at either contacting Buzz Wilson on the metal detecting forums, metaldetectingforum.com or his Facebook page, or you can order them from Treasure Mountain Detectors, which uh, is a great place and Heath will hook you up with some awesome gear. So gonna have this in a contest soon. I don't want to get it out in the field and get it all mucked up because I want to give it away, but a lot of people love these. It's the Buzz Wilson Bomb 2 handcrafted leather sheath for your Lesh and your Garrett Pinpointer. Definitely check these out and I'm going to be giving this one away in a contest on mdgear.com or my Facebook page very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck and happy hunting.